It's a party like no other. We're setting the bar for Mardi Gras fun on this Fat Tuesday with easy, entertaining ideas you can try at home. And the word beignet means to raise, and it's also French for fritter. There's also only a handful of places in and around San Antonio serving up this New Orleans signature treat, and we have the list, and they're good. Oh, Gigi! <laughs> Plus, she's a comforting soul serving up comfort Creole cuisine. We introduce you to Ma Harper, an 89-year-old whose recipe for life includes a whole lot of positivity. You'll definitely want to get a platter of her wisdom and gumbo, too. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. We are ready for Mardi Gras. Happy, fat, terrific Tuesday, everybody. Even the dog is all dressed up, and I think the dog just wants to have king cake. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky, filling in for Fiona. And wow, we have a fun packed show, but first. Yes, indeed. But first, we we're talking indulging on Bat right, Tuesday. Because, of course, this is the day before Ash Wednesday where you got to give something mm-hmm. up. So the question is, what would you just, you know, really indulge What's in yours? today? What's yours? What do you want? I, <laughs> I'd say, okay, right now? Yeah, right if, now. Right now, if I had just beignets. Because oh. it's coming to mind. After I know. Doing, oh. after, I know <laughs> Dean Anderson oh. just went to. Just oh. say the word. How about oh. you? I, 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 <laughs> just, oh, we'll you know, I'll down. take beignets, too. Why not? That's just easy. go with the theme. I'll okay. take a whole platter. How about you it? want to know, <laughs> what would you like to just go nuts on? Because it doesn't count today. Nope. No calories nope. today, right? Doesn't count today. Nope. Nothing like that? Nope. Okay. No, I don't think it Let counts. Us know. Right? Yes. Tag us comments. at SA Live on Facebook or Twitter and share your photos. I want to see what you're indulging in. Right? All right. All right. The one, the only. We are getting our Mardi Gras on with Adina Anderson. <laughs> and we have got all sorts of fun things to do crafts, food. We had the cocktails already. Yes, yes. And for those so we're who, ready to craft, right? <laughs> right. And for those who don't you know, so. you travel the country. You, I you do. do the crafts, yes. you travel, and today's theme, obviously, all Mardi Gras. Yeah, I'm still thinking about what I would indulge in. Pasta. Think about it. <laughs> not pasta, pasta. I was going to say Italian food, but then again, it's not uh, that Mardi Gras theme, so i got to go with the beignets. Yeah, yeah. No, beignets. anything with gluten, because that's like not in my diet. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are Speaking we making of, today? So this is a fun, easy king cake that you can make at home. It's under five bucks, These are, but you got to make sure you get the sweet Hawaiian oh, croissant rolls. Okay. So I didn't Hawaiian. know they made these. They're so I didn't good. Either. Oh. <laughs> and then I, you spread them out like that. Okay. So I've already got half of it done for you. And then the mixture, and all of this is going to be on my website, creativelifestyles.tv. The but fun thing to do. This is the fun part. Ooh. Yay. Oh, he makes it look so easy. Here I am with the spoon. Like, oh, no, no. You got to nah, put it. That gets your aggression your out. Yes. Oh, okay. so, and this is just cream cheese, brown sugar, cinnamon, and raisins. And you okay. mix that up and you put that around the middle. And then Hard while he's doing that, we've got, you know, we made a cocktail earlier, but we want to make the kids want to have fun, right? So let's do a mocktail. And this is just ginger beer. There's no alcohol in it, just but it kind of gives it, makes it fun. And it's kind of a take on a, you know, Shirley Temple with lots of fruits okay. and, and um, you can put apples in there and however you want. And <laughs> there we go. So the kids I'm can get involved. I love it. <laughs> you know, the kids will love all this. It's yes, sticky, it's, it's fun. fun. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be rolling it all up anyway. So, <laughs> and again, what is in the mixture? So it's cream cheese, brown sugar. So it's um, four ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of sh- brown sugar, okay, about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and I, you know those little packages of raisins. It says quarter yeah. cup, so I used just one of those little packages of raisins. Mix good. it up really good. I suppose you have to have raisins in a king cake. You don't. Uh, good. You yeah. Do um, yeah. If you <laughs> like, I can't do nuts. I'm allergic to nuts, okay. and you, sometimes people put pecans and things like that in it, but I can't do that. So, um, and then for the I Seen, it's just milk and brown and um, powdered sugar and a little bit of vanilla, and then for the sprinkles, we just use the Wilton, the green, mm-hmm. purple, and yellow. I was thinking that you had to color the icing the different no. colors, but you just use the color to it. That's and you know, you always got to have the baby in there, right? Right. And so you can get those at Party City. Had a bunch of those. So. You do that before you. You can do it before or after. Oh. If you want to know where it's at, put it in after. <laughs> 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 so and then Jen's gonna start on this fun mask. I got yes. these at Michael's for a dollar. These are so inexpensive. They come happy. in all different colors. And then this is just it. the Ooh. glitter glue. So this is something really fun that kids can do. And also this little wall hanging is just this deco art paint. And I used a little toothpick here. And these are just cardstock. And you could have just white cardstock and paint that as well. And I just did little polka dots with the back side of our toothpick. Oh, well, that's easy And then enough. I used some old Christmas ribbon. So all of this stuff, you know, could be something you have around the house already. 
or even, you know, just run to the craft store, spend a couple bucks and just Keyword, make it fun for the kids. Inexpensive. Yeah. Yes, that's very happy. all about it. Yes. <laughs> and I love the feathers and these are really inexpensive too, right? They are, yes. And I just used the back of a toothpick with okay. the glue for the sequins and the feathers. And, okay. Um, you do want to let those dry a little bit or you could use hot glue if you want to make it Ooh, quick yes. because that'll obviously dry really quick. You okay. said fold the outside in first. Fold the and then outside in first. Going nice yep. over there. <laughs> See what Actually, you got. Now make that good because I'm eating that one tonight. You know, I'm going to go home and bake it. So. Okay. <laughs> and one really quick tip on that, make sure you do it on parchment paper so that way it won't burn on the bottom and it makes it easier to cook as oh, well. Not, not just on the, uh, uh, on the cookie even sheet. a non-stick cookie right. sheet or anything like that. Okay. Yes. And then the bottle here is really simple. We've done this kind of craft before, but this is just the decoupage and you just brush it on the bottle. And to get the label off, a lot of people ask me about that, just soak it in some water. And if it doesn't Ooh, come off I've completely, mm -hmm. then you can oh. use a little alcohol and a napkin. And so after you do that, you just put... So let me ask you guys, okay. do you know where Not Mardi Gras sta started? Where it no, started? Where it started? In the United States? Well, yeah. But <laughs> uh, Mobile, Alabama. That's right. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, I learned that last year. It started there, and then it kind of moved along the coastline in big old party in New Orleans. And Galveston has a two-week-long Mardi Gras party. What? I know. I Who know knew? I'm well, going to be there yeah. next year. <laughs> So what did you hear? Okay, so you, so you got yeah, the glitter. You have okay. your glitter on there, and you could use, you know, obviously your green and purple. And then this is just the curly ribbon. This is the fun part, right? How long do you Tie bake that this, on? by the way? Uh, 25 to 30 minutes at 350. Okay. Got it. So Mike's cutting his piece, and all of these are available on your blog. They certainly website, are. CreativeLifestyles.tv, so. including the recipe for that and a couple of different cocktails. Ooh. And I heard this is really delicious, so I'm going to take Gosh, a bite it's here. so good. Yeah. Okay, bit. that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Cup of coffee in this. Breakfast is oh, served, oh, right? Some coffee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's mm. loving it. Happy okay. dance is Yay. coming. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Adina, for all these ideas. Thank you. Go to essaylive.com where we've provided her link to her blog mm. and get all these ideas. Thank you so much. That's that's really tasty. Yeah, the filling in there is good. All right, I'll we'll have to hit. try it. Yeah, I'm always. So, okay. <laughs> well, this is such a good show. We're moving along. Mm -hmm. I've had the pleasure to interview Ma Harper, and wow, she's just a bundle of positivity. It's. I went to the restaurant and I left just feeling so inspired. You know, she's been on the show before, and she is just she is just a little fireball. And if you want to taste in New Orleans with a side of love and laughter, Ma Harper's Creole Kitchen is where you want to be. Mm -hmm. I always say, imitated by many, duplicated by none. <laughs> when you come up 16 in the country, there's very little bit you don't learn. <laughs> Yes, you heard right. Ma Alice Harper is one of over a dozen siblings, and she's been cooking since she was 12 years old. Can you tell? This has everything in it already. I was born and raised in New Orleans, and I learned to cook because I, it was too many little babies to fool with, so if you cook, you couldn't fool with babies. Since 1991, Ma Harper's Creole Kitchen has been in business, serving up her gumbo, jambalaya, po'boys, pork chops, and, well, smiles, of course. I, I try to keep the prices where you can come back, and I try to give you enough that you're not still hungry when you finish. And I have to tell you, you'll leave here feeling inspired, not just yeah. full. This woman, at nearly 90 years old, a former aircraft mechanic, now restaurant owner, and, well, I give her the title of motivational speaker, too. A quitter will never win. Life has three stages. The past, you've laid it away. The present, you live day to day. And the third, only God holds the key. Oh, and she's all about giving people chances. She hires ex-cons as a way to show you work hard, make up for your mistakes, and you move forward. The, the real uh, root of my life is to give back what God has given me. Coming out of a large family, if it wasn't for givers, we probably wouldn't have made it. In the kitchen, there's no shortage of flavor. And yes, she cooked up all of this just for our visit. So I had to taste, of course. Ma is also one of the first vendors at the Taste of New Orleans. And she remains the oldest, too. But age is not stopping her from doing what she loves. 
know, work don't kill you. It proves work don't kill you. Might knock you down, but you get back up. Her restaurant has been featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives, and her story has been featured on Mike Rose returning the favor. Feeling inspired yet? Don't ever say I can't do anything. Never. Because you can do all things through Christ that strength. And you, I mean, I, we've met her before, and she is just the sweetest lady, but you were really, I mean, touched. You, you I said was. She, yeah. she, I teared up during that interview. She just gets you that way, and I love it. I love it. She's just such a positive, just good vibes. And you know why she's not here today? We found this yeah. out. Go ahead, Mike. You go she ahead. is, her way for, to celebrate Mardi Gras is she is feeding 300 wounded warriors yes. right now with all of her great... They're lucky. Cajun cooking, oh, yeah. real cooking and all Just that Just giving stuff. back, I know. you know, that's but why she can't make it. We understand. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. That's Ma. Mm-hmm. Yep. And speaking of, there's, here's a fun fact. Her, her granddaughter has her own food truck. Look, David Elder there uh, caught up with her, and he's going to feature the truck this Thursday at 1.30. But today we're going to hear from him about where you can find this food truck for Fat Tuesday today. And that's a little later in the show. Awesome. Runs in the family. Yes, indeed. Still ahead on SA Live, we'll show you where you can celebrate Fat Tuesday today with a list of fun events going on tonight. And some of them that are free. And next on SA Live, a New Orleans signature dessert, beignets. It's a try Tuesday, and I'm rolling out the dough over at Nola Brunch and beignets. Stay with us. Watch where you got a live look at New Orleans right now. Where's that? I assume that's Bourbon Street and... I don't see another cross street, but boy, a lot of folks are having Colorful, fun. Colorful, and... fun, good times happening now. Ooh, and you know they're having lots of good food there as well. Have you been, Mike, New Orleans? To, yeah, I've been there before, not from not from Mardi Gras, though. Yeah, me neither. I, that would be yeah. fun, but I'd like a place on the second floor. Right, not right, down just observe just from afar. Yes. <laughs> Well, it's a Try It Tuesday, and you have a Mardi Gras edition, right? Ooh, yes, indeed. You know, we just saw that, and one of the great dishes that you can get there in New Orleans are beignets. Mm-hmm. And Is how about heading word? to NOLA? We're going there to make beignets. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. NOLA, short for New Orleans, Louisiana. And that's what you think of when you think of Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras, all the partying and food and fun. And, hey, when you think about New Orleans food... How about this little delicacy, beignets? All right, so there is really nothing in the world like a beignet, and Chef Peter Sipeson, who is the owner of NOLA, how long have you been making these things? Uh, we started making beignets uh, on our food truck back about six years ago. Okay. And is it the classic New Orleans style recipe? Yeah, we do a very classic New Orleans style recipe. We make them from scratch here, roll them out and cook them up fresh to order. Um, just real nice, light and puffy and cover them with powdered sugar. We also do a couple different versions where we stuff them with lemon curd or a seasonal filling. Mm-hmm. So we get to play around a little bit too. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, we're going to start with a lot of flour up here. You really can't over flour it uh, so- just because we want to make sure it doesn't stick. What makes a beignet different than other pastries, other fried goods? If it's done right, it's really just a light, cakey kind of filling on the inside, and there's there's not a lot of um, not a lot of meat to it. Uh, should be real nice and light and hollow. But it, you know, it's not a donut. It's not. It, it's the consistency all its own. It is. It's, it's definitely a unique consistency. There's really no filling in there, and I think that's part of the beauty of it is just that uh, it's still got a little bit of that sponginess that a donut. Mm-hmm has, um, but just a real unique flavor um, and, and just really light. It's hard to find anything as light and delicate as a good beignet. On a busy weekend, um, we'll probably go through five or six hundred beignets. Jeez. That's the machine here, and we do them all right here on this little table and hand roll them out to order. We just cook a few orders at a time. And it's as simple as that. I mean, they've fried yeah, up really in it. less than a minute, basically. If you roll them the right thinness, um, then, you know, they'll puff up really nice and light in the middle. Uh, should have a real nice, delicate texture to them. Um, and, of course, we fry uh, everything here in lard. So it gives it, we can cook it at a little bit lower temperature, and it doesn't, um, it doesn't leave food as oily um, as some of the processed oils. 
And if you're gonna do a beignet, you might as well just go the whole way, right? That's it. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. You gotta do it right. Now, where did you learn how to make them? Are you from New Orleans? I'm born and raised New Orleans boy. Okay. Um, and started cooking a lot more New Orleans food after I left New Orleans. Just missed those flavors of home and really started trying to find ways to bring that feeling back to wherever I was. So here we go, this is our and that's small little order of beignets and we're gonna top them off with a little fresh powdered sugar, maybe a couple fillings, okay. and then we enjoy. We'll go ahead and cut into them right here. This is how we do our stuffed ones. We just cut a little slit inside. Yeah. This month's seasonal beignet is a strawberry jalapeno. Oh wow. So we just go ahead and we don't fill them up all the way, but you get enough in there that it gives you a nice little filling on the inside. And then our other classic one that we have on the menu all the time here is a lemon curd. And right. if you want to powder sugar it up for me, there you go. Give it some love. Don't never, be never too much sugar, right? Okay. Oh, uh, never. You oh, okay. be able to scoop some up off the plate if you're doing it the real way. All right. If you leave here without powdered sugar on your clothes, you didn't do it right. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. A little bit on the, the history of it. Sure. Obviously, it's, it's French, and French known for their pastries like croissants and things like that. So, where yeah. did this kind of come into being? Even before beignets, there were ladies uh, in the French market uh, and in Jackson Square that would sell kalas, which was a little different version of a beignet, but it was the same in context that it was uh, a fried dough made with yesterday's rice. The heavier French influence came in. Uh, and Creole food is known for being a little bit more upscale, so then you get a little bit more delicate pastry style of cooking as well, which is kind of where the beignet came in. Just so to it, start. So I've done it right, right? I'm up. wearing the powdered sugar? Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's all over my lap. Perfect. And here they are. Yes, indeed. I was like going to ask said, you how they are, but they're right if here. If you're not wearing the sugar, you didn't do it right. And by the way, uh, every year, they host an El Mardi Gras, and it's a big fundraiser for all the, the community right there in the Tobin Hill community. He's already done it this year, but loves to give back to the, uh, the community. And what do you think? No words. It's just mm, heavenly, delicious. Mm. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Thank coming you, up Nova. in the second half of the show, mm -hmm. we're going to show you the handful of places around town where you can find this New Orleans mm -hmm. There's delicacy. not so many places oh, my that, that serve them up. So we have that list for you, and we'll take you inside as well. This is so good. Still ahead on SA Live, it is considered the biggest Mardi Gras party in town. We have the San Antonio Zulu Association here today with their king cake, and we're going to learn some fun facts about king cake. Yeah, and here's one question to think about. What does it mean when you find the baby and the, your piece of cake? We're going to find out a little later. And more fun facts, too. Jen found it. I did. What does that mean, Mike? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh -oh. Stay with us. Welcome back, everyone. Well, if you've been wanting to ditch the glasses, ditch the contact lenses, no time like the present, and you can have the vision of your life without the hassle of frames and lenses, and the procedure literally only takes a couple of seconds. Here to explain all that, Richard Doinoff with Menrique Custom Vision. Good afternoon, sir. How you doing, my friend? All right. This takes a couple of seconds, literally? Absolutely. How? Uh, bas basically, it has an automated tracking laser, which I won't bore the viewers with, but it's very fast, very accurate, so it's Seven times faster, 50% more accurate than any other laser on the market. And this is the Z LASIK? Yes, sir. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so Dr. Manrique, he has done this how many times? We've done over 43,000 LASIK. When I say we, it's Dr. Manrique. He's probably done around 25,000 Z LASIK, though. So. so everybody, you know, you say, I want to get rid of my glasses, I want to get rid of the contacts. Does anybody qualify for this? No, abs absolutely not. We, uh, we refuse about 12% a week, so that's why we offer the complimentary screening that you'll show at the end. Uh, but it does correct nearsightedness, farsightedness, astigmatism, and if you're over 40 and in reading glasses, uh, sometimes we have solutions for that also. Okay, so most everybody is going to be able to get this procedure done. Absolutely. You, you'll know if you have an autoimmune or something like that, or if you've been told by an ophthalmologist that you have something going on behind your eye, 
probably won't work, but we're still more than glad to check you out. Okay. Then there's the other factor, because a lot of people don't even like, you know, getting drops put in their eyes. Is there any pain to it at all? No, absolutely not. If you, a lot of people can't even put contacts in, the mm -hmm. drops or anything like that. Uh, they, they come in and we show, them, we show them the little tricks of the trade on how to do it, and they, they, they don't have any discomfort or anything whatsoever. So when the procedure is done, do you see the effects immediate, or does it take a couple of weeks for it to kind of your eyes to adjust to it? It's the, the weirdest thing, look at our Facebook page, Manrique Custom Vision San Antonio. These people come in, they, they can't see past here, and they're already seeing across the room as soon as they're done with the procedure, and it just gets better over the next couple of days, and then you're done with it. Wow. That is fantastic. It and is. you have got a uh, special for our viewers, right? Yep. They just mentioned this show and, of course, your name, and we'll take, we'll take, good, we'll take really <laughs> Mention my name and you won't get No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. there you go. There's a dog. Yeah. <laughs> but for the first 10 uh, viewers that, that call or text, you've got a deal. Right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it is uh, $1,500 off the Z-Lasic procedure? Yes, sir. Okay. Don't forget, if you want to call 210-944-4958 or text LASIK to 45384, again, you're going to receive $1,500 off your Z-LASIK procedure at Manrique Custom Vision. That number again is 210-944-4958 or text LASIK to 45384 to get $1,500 off. And for more information on Manrique Custom Vision, visit sa.live.com. Excuse me, visit sa.manriqueeye.com. So pardon me, sir. Thank okay. you very much, Richard, for being here. Good, Good seeing, seeing you. you. All right. Still to come on SA Live, we are celebrating one of our favorite New Orleans-style indulgences. That Tuesday, it is beignets. A few hot spots for these fluffy French fritters up next. Don't forget the sugar. Happy Fat Tuesday, y'all, and welcome out here to That's It, That's All Food Truck. You guys are going to be out at Our Lady of the Lake today. Yes. Now, you're going to be serving up all different kinds of food. Right here is the shrimp poor boy, but what else do you have on the menu? We have boudin balls. We have our Creole macaroni and cheese. Ooh. We have gumbo. You have dirty rice, too, right? And we have dirty rice. Come on. Yes. That's how you celebrate it. Get a taste yes. in New Orleans with a Texas twist. All you have to do is come out here, yes. and you know what? All this food is so delicious and so wonderful. I'm telling y'all, you can't go wrong with any of it. <laughs> He's in New Orleans right by now, it's mine. <laughs> Happy Fat Tuesday, y'all. Come get the real deal. It's delicious. And it's right over there, Our Lady of the Lake today. Before I eat it all, I will eat it all. 11 to 2. Don't forget to catch an all new episode of Elder Eats this Thursday at 1.30 where we feature That's It, That's All Food Truck and three other restaurants here in San Antonio. It's going to be an exciting episode where we get to go inside the food truck and find out how they're making all this delicious food. Plus, don't forget to follow Elder Eats on social media for updates, contests, giveaways, and everything else behind the scenes. Keep eating San Antonio and for SA Live, I'm David Elder. Nothing Coco. like a Mardi Gras hug from a big old furry pooch. Oh, sweet Coco. She's in the audience today. Well, Beautiful. as we told you earlier, we were going to come back with a list of mm -hmm. some of the places in town to get these oh. delectable little treats there. And yes, we keep our prime. No, no, Ted, you stay on the camera. <laughs> we're going to keep these. Right. You, there, you have yours a, too. I was hiding it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I already ate mine. <laughs> uh, yes, there's a handful of places around town, some with traditional like this and some mm. non-traditional. I'm just so happy it's Fat Tuesday. I know. I'll take a bite. You watch this. I'm getting fat okay. just eating these. Denier. The word means to rise, and these delicious treats are found at a handful of spots. We started with Nola brunch and beignets, and Mike helped whip those up. But if you're looking for French-style market beignets, head out to the Pearl Farmer's Market every weekend, and you'll find the beignet stand. Their eggless dough is carefully fermented to make for a softer crust, and the beignets are made on site. What sets them apart? The beignet stand creates a new flavor profile every single week. On this visit, we got a taste of this tribute to peanut butter and bananas. Yes, you heard right. It's infused with the nutty feeling. It's then topped off with banana chips, grounded up with cinnamon toast crunch cereal. Hmm. Go to the Pearl to see what they cook up next. Head north to the hill country for beignets served up 
Only on the weekends, Bernie Grill is located off Main Street in Bernie. Chef David uses extra yeast to make them even fluffier. They also double sip their powdered sugar to add that special final touch of sweetness. Over at the Lost Cajun, they're serving up traditional beignets all day, every day. The Louisiana native started the Lost Cajun after moving to Colorado. He missed his Cajun cuisine. Stop in for your beignets and maybe an entree too. I hope you got your beignet fix and happy Fat Tuesday. And she's eating it just right because she's wearing some of that powdered sugar. That's my duty. Good she girl. had some fun, you know. She oh, I, me. I, I bet she did. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's so much to do today because it is Mardi Gras in and yep. around town. And first of all, we are starting off. Jazz on the River is happening tonight, of course, on the Riverwalk, featuring floating big band ensembles, trios, and solos. They're going to be playing between 7 and 9.15 tonight. Bundle up. You can walk the Riverwalk's two-and-a-half-mile route to enjoy every second of this musical party, and it won't cost you a dime. Ooh, I like that part. Meanwhile, 10 bucks will get you into the ninth annual Zulu Fat Tuesday Mardi Gras party. It's from 4 this afternoon until 1 in the morning at the VFW Post 76 on 10th Street. The party is hosted each year by the San Antonio Zulu Association. There will be food trucks, music, by OMG Sounds, prize giveaways, and it's BYOB. Tickets are sold at the gate. If you're on the northwest side, the Rustic is hosting Mardi Craw, a New Orleans-style crawfish boil. Oh, that sounds good. Nomar and the FCs will be playing. There is going to be jambalaya face painting, beads, and special Mardi Gras cocktails. The event is free if you RSVP, but you'll have to pay for your food and all the drinks. And if you're in the New Braunfels area, there's Fat Tuesday at Green Hall. Slim Bob and the fabulous Stump Grinders will be swamping it up for Mardi Gras from 6 to 10 p.m. at Texas's oldest dance hall. You can find more information on our website, essaylive.com. Just click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab and let the good times roll. We'll be back after the break, but here's more from Ma Harper on Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras really, do people know what Mardi Gras really is? Okay, they call it Fat Tuesday because you eat everything you think about because you're not going to eat for 40 days, <laughs> you know? So you just eat everything. The other thing about Mardi Gras, as they put it, they wear a mask and uh, it's the time to get even because you don't know what's behind the mask. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we are letting the good times roll with a huge, huge Mardi Gras party. Thanks to the San Antonio Zulu Association. They're throwing this party at VFW Post 76 downtown in just literally in just over two hours. And Kenny Miles of the San Antonio Zulu Association is joining us this afternoon. First good of afternoon. all, boy, you throw those pieces to somebody, you're going to take them out. <laughs> well, I'm not going to throw these at anyone. You stay with me. <laughs> anyway, all right, so tell us about this big, big Mardi Gras party tonight. Well, this Mardi Gras is our Fat Tuesday, our 10th annual Fat Tuesday celebration. It is uh, $10 to get in. It's, like you said, it's held at the VLW number 76. And we have this every year. It's one of our fundraisers. Mm -hmm. It's also the lead, uh, the lead off event or kickoff event to our uh, Taste New Orleans celebration. Oh, yes. That's going to be coming up, too. Yes, that's also coming up. All right. So lots of fun there. Now, the big question is, though, obviously you've got beads and very big beads here. Do you have to get dressed up for this? You don't have to get dressed up, but if you want to get dressed up, come on out, get dressed up. The main thing we ask you to do is come out and have a good time. Okay, and if you want to get dressed up, you can go full on or just a little bit like the young lady with Jen right now. Yes, I have Evangelina here with Ulta Beauty, and I love this look you have because people can pull this off. If they're going to go tonight, they can still pull this off. So tell me what you did here because it looks beautiful. So, of course, I went with some color. I uh, had to use the James Charles palette. Like, what else would I use? What else? <laughs> <laughs> and then I um, had to do some glitter, but... To to hold the glitter down, you have to use um, glitter primer. And so I use oh. the one from NYX. Oh. Super easy to use. Okay. And so I use it for like the real tiny glitter. And then the chunky one, I did um, lash glue. It's lash a, glue? It's, I would have never thought of yeah, that. Yeah, it's, okay. like, it's a little too big yes. to use with regular glue. And so you just got to hold it all down. And then, of course, you lock it in. 
to last the night with some good setting spray. Setting spray. And I see that you have a little highlight going, but oh, it's yes. like a gold. Well, well, yes. So to go with the gold. Oh, yeah. Had to tie it in, you know, got a match, I monochromatic. Love <laughs> I love it. All right. I love it. And then your eyes, can you give it, can you close them oh, so yeah. everybody can see how beautiful that is? You're so talented. Oh, and of course, you. for all your beauty needs, head over to Ulta. I love this. You can pull this off when we have all the products listed on our website. There they are. And you can go to essaylive.com to find out what she used for this beautiful look. Back to you, Mike. And Kenny, all of the proceeds benefits a lot of your charities, right? There are a lot of our charities, mainly our scholarship foundation, and we give to Susan G. Coleman, the Red Cross, Salvation Army. There's a, several different organizations around town that we donate to. Okay, fantastic. And if you're looking for a good party, party starts, like we said, in just over a couple of hours. San Antonio Zulu Association's Fat Tuesday Mardi Gras party, <clears throat> excuse me, starts at 4 this afternoon, runs through about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, or... Mm -hmm. Uh, when everybody decides to go <laughs> home. Like a party, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all happening at the VFW on 10th Street. So for more information, go to EssayLive.com and click on the Ask Seen on Essay Live tab. And Up next, how much do you know about the delicacy, the king cake? We are going to find out all the little bits. Yes, I want to know. And earlier we asked you, what are you indulging in? King, Gerardo. Oh, I love him. Look at him getting in the spirit. One of our favorites here in Market Square. Well, we are back right out with Ken Miles from the San Antonio Zulu Association. And how much do you know about this? This beautiful the king cake. cake. It's time to test our knowledge. First of all, Kenny, so what is what is the king cake? Can you break it down for us? Well, it's a nice, it's a sweet, frosted cake. And somewhere inside the cake is a little baby. A plastic baby, sometimes edible baby. Okay. Oh, sometimes edible. Sometimes oh, edible. Oh, I like that. I, th okay. I think actually our little baby in here is kind of made out of made out of is sugar. Is it sugary it baby? Like, so a little sugar baby. It, so. <laughs> okay. What's it mean if you get the baby? Well, it can be a good or bad thing depending on how you look at it. The person that finds the baby inside the cake is gets to host the next party for the next oh. year. Okay. Mm -hmm. They get to supply all the food, beverages, and... Oh, you found the baby earlier, so... Uh -oh. okay. hey, party you know, at Jen's house next year. Well, I like a good party. That's okay. I'm good with this. Okay, so, and then back in the day, let's see, king cakes used to determine early kings and queens of Mardi Gras? Is I've that... heard that be mentioned before, yes. So our lovely executive producer pulled this fact that it is true. There used to be a golden bean inside, and it would determine Mardi Gras royalty. I didn't know that. Interesting. Yeah. And I didn't know this. New Orleans Pelicans have a... King cake baby mascot? <laughs> it's their mascot. It's like a big plastic baby. It's a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little creepy. He's only saying that because he's a Spurs fan. So. Well, of course. <laughs> okay. All right. Once again, y'all uh, with the Zulu Association are it. hosting. Go oh, ahead. cut that baby Yeah, open. go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, you're hosting the big, big Mardi Gras party, and it starts yes. literally in just a couple of hours. Yes, it does. So there's oh. still time to get out there, okay. purchase tickets at the gate. Look at that. That looks like a good time. And that's right down the street from KSAT. Hmm, maybe we'll oh, guess, swing by. Oh, guess where you're going when you clock out <laughs> later <laughs> on this afternoon. Late lunch, All right, yeah. cut it open. And king cakes are usually stuffed with, what's in this one? Okay, I'm opening it. So this one has Ooh, a little different. See, Adina had that. It looks like a... Taste it. You go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go right ahead. What is that? Well, it's uh, cinnamon. Ooh, okay. Kind of, yeah. Oh, is it always nice. cinnamon, or can you just kind of do it, your own it, it thing? Varies. Uh, okay. Let's do it the easy way here. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, it's all happening at the VFW Post 76, 10th Street, along the Riverwalk from 4 to 1 a.m. Yes, you heard right. On a Tuesday, they're partying, and you can head out there on essaylive.com for more information. Kenny, thank you very much. I appreciate thank it. Thank you okay. for having me. Tomorrow on Essay Live, Fat Tuesday gives way to Ash Wednesday. In the Lenten season, we know a lot of people who are going to be eating more seafood, and Chef Jose Benitez is going to have a few recipes for us. Plus, it is a wild Wednesday at SeaWorld. It's going to get a little prickly with Fiona's special guest and a porcupine. There's also going to be a lemur. You don't want to miss it tomorrow on SA Live. It's 
Fat Tuesday. What are you going for broke with? Sugar. Sugar, <laughs> sugar. Oh, he's Charles. giving it up. Wow, Charles. Good luck. Rosa Linda says social media. <laughs> no, that is a really good one. Social media. If I could do that, it's because it's part of my job, I can't. But she's wait, already, what is it? She's already shaking. Oh, she's from shaking. I missed I that joke. Okay. <laughs> Paula says cupcakes. I have to eat them all before tomorrow. Oh. Enjoy. Big cup of coffee. Wash Ooh. it down. Yes. Ooh, Did you make that, Lynn? Because I like it. It looks delicious. That's pretty. Pasta and bread for lunch. But that means you can still have it for dinner and breakfast. There you go. No, not breakfast. Not tomorrow, right? It stops oh. tomorrow? Okay. Clarissa, oh, I'm eating my last box of my fave milk duds for 40 days. Oh, yeah. That's what you got to do. Give up the hard stuff. Milk duds and popcorn at the movie. So sweet tea. Oh, Giving that up. wow. Hmm. Okay. Sweet All right, tea. so a lot of people tomorrow have to give something up, mm-hmm. and that means a lot of no meat for Lent. Exactly. Okay, how about this, though? Lobster and grits with hominy mm. hash and Ooh. wajil butter and oh. scallops with carrot puree, chard, and kale. Yeah, those are some of the Lenten oh, dishes. Just another meal in my household. Oh, right? Well, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah. And going out the Wayward Whiskers Cat Rescue and Wild Wednesday SeaWorld Porcupine. Yes, because you have to get ready for spring break now. What's the weather going to be like? Coming up this week, it's not going to be like, it's actually going to be up in the 70s by this weekend. Okay. Yes, See? maybe a couple of little sprinkly showers, but All we'll right. in tomorrow. Happy Fat Tuesday. We had a blast. Look, we Le, still got cake left. Le, Le bon, 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 bon,